Welcome back to Market Day Report. As we head to the top of the hour, 15 minutes until we hit the top, and that means our last update on this Crop Report Tuesday. What a day it has been. Kind of a tale of two half days here. Let's go to Chicago one last time, and great to be checking in with our friends from the CME Group uh, live on the floor there where it's all happening right now. Todd Horwitz, first time I've had a chance to say Happy New Year to you, Todd. Happy New Year, and it's I uh, got a little tear in my eyes. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'll bet. Now, is that from trading, or is that from you know that you uh, trading? Trading was easy, Mark. We said look to be a buyer down at these lower levels in the grain markets. No matter what the USA says, the report wasn't even that bullish. Yet yeah, we had a nice little we had a nice little rally. Now, I'm going to start right there. Marlon and I were just talking about this. That you look at these numbers, the stocks numbers, acreage. Well, not the wheat acres. Nothing looked all that positive. Yet here we are, uh, six. Seven cents higher, uh, double-digit advances in beans, and of course you know why wheat. But uh, again, what do you what do you put uh, the advance if, there, if the numbers on paper aren't all that positive? Well, I mean, again, Mark, we've talked about this often, especially if you're listening to RFD and XM 147. You know that we don't get involved in the day-to-day -day, every little gyration of the mm -hmm. market. What you do is you see a chart pattern forming, and I kept saying to you that the markets are pricing it in already. There's not going to be something new here. They've beaten them down on every piece of bad news. How much more bad news can come out? The commercials were major league short. Everybody was pounding on top of it like they could never go up. And of course, just when they can never go up, the shorts have to cover, you get a little bit of a rally. Now, I'm not saying we're going to go straight up from here, but what we saw was exactly the kind of reaction we would have figured to see. Markets were kept holding support. They made new contract lows last week for a couple of minutes, but basically kind of held up. And then you saw the natural reaction, uh-oh, they're not going lower. I better start covering. And that's the kind of action you're seeing right now. So how healthy would you say this market really is, even with the up we're seeing right now, Todd? Well, I think that the market's really pretty healthy. I think, again, we've seen about as much damage that can be done to any one market. I mean, we're now seeing it in, in the crude oil market on the other side. I think we've seen about as much damage you're going to see. Could we go lower? Yeah, there, there is no question there is room to the downside. However, based on every bit of bad news they built on, based on the economy, based on the dollar, based on every other thing that the Federal Reserve and everybody wants to throw on top of here, I don't see much more bad news. So I can only see the markets holding here. I'm personally a buyer. I have bought. I'm an owner, and I'm going to continue to own, and I'm going to continue to accumulate because the levels here seem to be better than, than not, and I don't see a lot of downside risk. Here. Are you talking corn, beans, and wheat, or would you pick one over the other, Todd? I'm, I'm buying it pretty much across the board, but I did start out buying in wheat, and I then continued in the corn, and I also bought beans. So, yes, yeah, so all three, but I don't have one. They're basically similar type patterns. Uh, you know, if you want to be more, more of the shooter kind, wheat's obviously a little bit more wild lately. So, you know, But, again, I, I think you can look equally across the board to have ownership, and if you are a producer or an owner or a farmer, I think if you can hold them and you, can, you have the money to hold, I think you're better off holding here because, again, I see a much better chance, risk-reward-wise, to the upside. All right. Well, with that, let's get the numbers. Those of you tuning in on radio, as you mentioned, uh, corn trade, everything higher from the crop report. Now, coming back a little bit, March corn up five and a half. Soybeans were up double digits and still are after the report here. The March contract, 13 and a quarter higher, 874 and a bit better. And the wheat trade after double digit declines yesterday, March Chicago up double digits, now up a dime, 479 and a quarter. The Kansas City nearby March contract is up 15 cents, holding most of that early advance at 477 a bit better and Minneapolis the March contract is up 11 and a quarter 504 and a half how do things change when Todd Horwitz looks at the livestock trade we'll find that out in one minute be right back